uh, for that introduction, and good morning to everyone. Uh, thank you to today's performers, uh, Joy Harjo and Ariana Kwan, Marco Chin, and Jennifer Martinez from the Urban World NYC. That poetry really was powerful. Uh, have I remembered every word of it? No, but I'll go back and read it later on. And thank you all for being here. Uh, we have a great program ahead, and it even includes my co-star in the blockbuster and critically acclaimed movie, The Adjustment Bureau, Matt Damon. I knew he'd get a round of applause. As I'm sure all of you remember, I had a tough role that really stretched my acting chops, playing the mayor of New York City. I still can't believe that I didn't win an Oscar for that. But the roles, seriously, that we are playing today really are the most important of our lives because there is no challenge bigger than the battle against climate change. Success requires global cooperation and big, bold new ideas. And that's what inspired Prince William to launch the Earthsought Prize two years ago. Now, I know how much he wanted to be here today. I talked to him the day before yesterday. But there is no better way to honor the extraordinary life of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, than by gathering here in support of work that he is leading on an issue that meant so much to her. The Earthshot Prize, I think, is a testament to the environmental legacy of Queen Elizabeth. And I know Prince William and King Charles are both determined to extend that legacy. Prince William created this prize to incentivize the kind of innovation that can accelerate the fight against climate change. And our foundation, along with the other Global Alliance founding partners, has been glad to support it from the very beginning. Leading up to this event, I was thinking about the bold and daring American project that inspired the name of this prize, the Moonshot. And there's a story about JFK, John F. Kennedy, that captures, I think, the spirit of the moonshot and of the Earthshot as well. Back in 1962, at the height of the Cold War, President Kennedy visited NASA headquarters in Houston, Texas. And as he was touring the facility, so the story goes, and looking at all of the state-of-the-art technology, he ran into a man who was holding a broom. And as the story goes, the president asked him, what do you do here? And the man who worked as a janitor for NASA replied, I'm helping put a man on the moon. And he was absolutely right. <laughs> the lesson of that is that great things are possible only when everyone pulls together and everyone works hard towards a common goal. And no matter what you do, if it contributes to the greater good, it's worth doing. So when you're pushing big goals, there are no small jobs. Everyone has a role to play, and every role is important. And that spirit is what took us to the moon, and it's what will make it possible to save the Earth from climate change. Today, we have the opportunity to celebrate innovators who are leading the way. They are taking on hard challenges, like reforestation, carbon renewal, coral restoration, turning sanitation waste into organic fertilizer, generating hydrogen power, and reducing food waste. And at Bloomberg, we're glad to support them every step of the way. Over the past year, a number of people at our foundation and company have been working hand in hand with Earthshot winners and finalists on everything from scaling their operations to connecting them with experts and investors. And today, we're announcing that we're going to be helping many of these finalists take their ideas to the next level. For instance, we will help Takachar expand its effort to eliminate carbon emissions from agricultural waste by enlisting our partners on a pilot project that can help bring their work to more communities in northern India. We'll also provide a grant to support pristine seas in their effort to explore and protect the oceans and to put the world on a path to protecting 30% of the oceans by 2030. These are just two of the many grants that we're making, and I know this is just the beginning of the process that will be ushered in by this prize. 
After all, the success of the Earthshot can be measured only by the success of the winners and finalists. It can also be measured by all the other ideas that it's galvanized, some of which may well prove to be breakthroughs. This year, I'm glad to say, we have seen more than a 30% increase in applications for the Earthshot Prize from around the world. So the spirit of the moonshot is still very much alive, and success really is within our power. So thank you to everyone in this room for everything you're doing to make it possible. And a special thanks to Caroline Kennedy, who is here with us today and who is continuing, continuing her family's legacy of doing things because they're hard, 